Nola Jet here in Laurel, Mississippi at Cafe LaFleur. Good stuff in here. Yeah. -ha -ha. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our USA Travel Vlog, we are on a travel search for Southern food as we tour the Mississippi food of Laurel, Mississippi. We will be visiting Cafe Lafleur New Orleans style restaurant, which is located in the downtown area of Laurel, Mississippi, which is currently undergoing a bit of a revival and a lot of new businesses are opening. There's still a lot of older deserted buildings that are in the process of renovation that haven't opened yet, but it's still a lot of fun and a beautiful area to tour. Cafe Lafleur Restaurant is located at 313 North Magnolia Street, which is about two hours and 140 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. You are invited to eat with me some Mississippi food, as first we're gonna feast on gumbo, salad, and black and red fish. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best Southern restaurants, and this Southern food blog will show you how we enjoy our Southern restaurant experiences. Cafe Lafleur is only open Monday through Friday for lunch, and they only serve dinner on Friday night. They have their menu posted outside if you want to take a look at it on days they're not open, and today during my visit, their special is shrimp and grits. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. They have a nice private room here for events and parties. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? So we've been seated right next to the windows in the front on these tiny little tables. And you can see it's a long shotgun style area. So as we head towards the back, we'll take a look at the opposite wall there. They have some nice design elements over there. And there's the kitchen right there. And here we are heading all the way to the rear area where the bathrooms are back here. And you see they've got some uh, nice looking lights here. And you can tell this is an older building from the walls and the ceiling. Now right behind there in Maker's Alley to the rear of the building, it looks like an old New Orleans French Quarter rear of a building, so it does give it a little authentic New Orleans twist. Now let's take a look at the specials menu here. So they have two slices of turkey over white rice and a golden mushroom gravy, and then all the rest of this is beer. So let's take a look at the menu now. So we have starters with jazzy shrimp, duck wontons, boudin balls, roadhouse fries, fried green tomatoes, then we have soups and salads with shrimp bisque, red beans and rice, seafood gumbo, house salad, spinach salad, chef salad, pineapple chicken salad, homemade chicken salad. Then we have sandwiches with the Cubano, roast melt, croissant sandwich, muffaletta, captain's club, sweet heat, then po' boys and tacos with French dip, Mardi Gras po' boy, crawfish po' boy, shrimp po' boy, shrimp tacos, and fish tacos. Then we have burgers with Steak Burger, El Diablo, Shroomer, Old Timer, Big Easy, Turkey Burger, and entrees with a Canal Street Chicken, Smoked Salmon, Wood Fire Grilled Chicken, Chicken Tortellini, New Orleans Redfish, Grilled Chicken with Pasta, Shrimp Creole, Bayou Chicken, Cajun Chicken Pasta, Shrimp Pasta, and then we have our beverages and then sides of french fries, cheesy grits, fresh fruit, dirty rice, Italian cut green beans, sweet fries, fresh garden salad, and kettle chips. Cafe Lafleur opened up back in 1997 and I have been here a few times and my last visit was way back in 2012. The gumbo I had back then was good. This seafood gumbo on the other hand looks a little uh, unusually colored and a bit thick looking. So we're gonna give it a little hot sauce and a little Tabasco, hopefully can cure what it looks like. But this is a very pasty, thick looking roux here. This does not look like it was cooked appropriately. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of seafood in here, if any. Um, this is just a very thick mix of all sorts of things that doesn't look like gumbo exactly to me. So let's try it. Something has most definitely gone wrong with the roux. If you don't get the roux right from the get-go, you can't really get a good gumbo. You've got to get that roux correct from the beginning. And 
sadly, I would say they have failed with a rue. Um, the gumbo that I've tried in the past here hasn't been quite up to the level of New Orleans gumbo, but it was decently good and edible. This is uh, bordering on being pretty inedible. It just is not at all tasting good. So far, there doesn't look like a single piece of seafood in here. And the uh, roux is kind of pasty. Got the little particles of flour in there. So the roux being bad is not good. And then no seafood in here at all is terrible. This is far better the last time I had it. This is um, not good. I don't even know why I'm eating this. It's just, uh, it's um, certainly not up to standards. And uh, just like this bowl of mush destroyed my hopes for a good lunch, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and let me know what you thought about this bowl of failure. Ah! Now, I'm going to switch to eating a salad. Hopefully they can't mess this up. Let's see. Oh, we'll put the dressing on it. Uh, overall, this looks like a pretty good salad. A little cheese, some tomatoes, a little cucumber, a little pepper on there. So, let's go ahead and dig in. Now, they also brought all my food to me at one time, which was a nightmare on this tiny table. So, another failure with the service here, unfortunately. So, uh, I'd also mentioned to my waitress that I wasn't really happy with the gumbo and it had no seafood in it, and all she said was sorry. So, so far, the service in Laurel has definitely been lacking. Of course, that's all over. There's some bad service going on in New Orleans these days, too, sadly enough. So the uh, salad, at least, is not bad. At least it's a good fresh salad. The dressing was good. And I'm gonna eat this pepper. Got a little extra vitamin inside of me, a little extra flavor to wash out the flavor of that paste I ate that was supposed to be gumbo. Hopefully that's just uh, an off day and they just had something going on in the kitchen. I hope that isn't what they're regularly putting out. So one last bite of salad and I've totally destroyed this salad. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this salad. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. Next, my dining companion got a shrimp creole, which was really good actually. And then I got a blackened redfish with cheese grits and Italian beans. And whoa, look at this. It is a beautiful piece of redfish and it smells fantastic. So this is blackened very well and let's give it a taste. And whoa, there is good flavor. Okay, my hopes are starting to come up again. So the shrimp creole was really good. This black and red fish is actually on the fantastic side, I would say. So this has been cooked very nicely. I'm getting a lot of good flavors in here. And it is a nice sized piece of fish. So this is an enjoyable experience, finally. I'm happy to get back on track with a happy lunch because there's nothing good about an unhappy lunch. And starting it out with Whatever that stuff was they call gumbo is not putting me in a good mood. Finally, I'm getting way happier, and this is an enjoyable meal, finally. And every bite of this redfish is chock full of flavor. It's very nice prepared. It's cooked perfectly. It is a very well-executed dish. Now, these cheese grits also look very nice. So those are just beautiful looking cheese grits, and they also are very tasty. Got these green beans a sample, and mmm, they do look nice as well. Oh, I do believe these are probably out of a can of green beans, but they still taste good. So uh, I need a little more of my red fish here, so this is some really nice tasting stuff. So I'm really glad things have changed for the better after a shaky start. <laughs> So everything on this entree plate has been seasoned nicely, there's good flavors, and they have added appropriate levels of spiciness. I've really enjoyed each and every bite of all the things I've had on this plate. Now let's try this garlic bread, and uh, yes, this is a good piece of French bread. They definitely put a lot of good garlic herb butter on there, and I'm enjoying that. And let's have a little more of these delicious cheese grits. These are some of the best grits I've had in a while, but I haven't had grits in quite a while at this point. So these are very enjoyable, and they're pretty tasty to the last bite here. And then these green beans are very nicely done, even though they're out of a can. This might be one of my favorite canned vegetables that you can get at the grocery store. They certainly have a little extra flavor than most of the other vegetables in the cans. So 
know, this is uh, always one of the items that makes me happy. If I've got to have some canned vegetables, this is probably one of the best ones to get. And they season them up and kick it up a little bit more than they are just straight out of the can. So I'm glad that somebody in the kitchen is doing a good job today. And the other person at the gumbo needs a bit more training. So now, like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this redfish entree. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So the bill arrived and it was time to pay. The total was $47.56 before tip for two people. So thanks so much to everybody at Cafe La Fleur, but you really have to do something about that gumbo. Over the several times over the years I've eaten here, it's always been decently good gumbo, so I don't know if this was just a one-off bad day with something going wrong in the kitchen. That was terrible, and my waitress did absolutely nothing to help me out even after I told her about it. And also bringing all of my items out at one time was not a good experience. So a little more training with the wait staff, please. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. So would you kindly just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as that really would help me with the YouTube algorithm and keep the Nolagen channel getting a bigger audience. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.